y'all. Welcome to When It's Good, Colorado edition. Hey y'all, welcome to When It's Good, Van Edition. So for anyone who doesn't know, Back when I was living in Texas, I would do what I called When It's Good Wednesday. And it would be a live stream usually on Facebook. And I would just be cooking a meal. And I love to cook, I love to talk. And so I figured I'd combine the two. And I totally miss doing the live stream, but being that we like to go places where there's not good service, I figured let's try recording it and see how it goes. So what I have going today is we're gonna be making some pesto pasta with veggies. It's one of the easiest meals ever. You really could do it as a one pot meal, but I'm doing it as two. I already have a pot of water boiling. I'm gonna turn it back up a little bit. If there's one thing I learned from the Food Network, it's that you gotta have stuff prepped. Having a pot of boiling water ready to go is like a life changer or lifesaver. So I'm gonna pour some pasta in here. That looks good. I never really measure things. It's just kind of how I do it. I'd like to eyeball it and I figure if I always, if I have leftovers, it's not like it's gonna be a problem. You know what I mean? So the pasta I'm using, I'll show you all the shape. I don't know the real name. I could just look at the package, but it's just one of these nice round shaped with ridges, which is really important. If you choose a pasta that has ridges, it's gonna hold more of your sauce, especially with pesto, which is like in my veins. You really wanna make sure it has a nice ridge so that every bite is a nice, pesto we bite. So we've been in Colorado for about a week now. We're exploring Southern Colorado for a bit before we explore pretty much the whole state this month. So that's really exciting. So I already have my cast iron heating up now. I just have it on low. Love my cast iron because it's consistent heat, meaning the whole thing is going to have, there's not like going to be any hot spots, if you know what I mean. Not like mobile hot spots. I have a bottle of canola oil here. It says olive oil, but we put canola oil in it because we like the bottle because it fits right up in here. So my skillet is already hot. Oil is already warm. What I have here is a couple of other things prepped on my target plate. It's my favorite. I have one small onion that I'm gonna add in first. Love that sound of a sizzle immediately. So for the onion, I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt. This is our little jar salt container, again, because it fits in our little shelves right there. I'm just gonna give these a stir. Make sure they get coated in the oil so they can start cooking down. I'm gonna turn my skillet down a little bit. I want my onions to get nice and soft and not get like super crispy, even though crispy onions are like, <laughs> but I want them to cook down, get soft, and that they kind of melt in with the pasta. What I'm working on in here is a two burner propane stove right here. It's literally just like a camp stove. And so like one, Dean and I used to use it years ago when we go tent camping or car camping. And then we just installed it in here really simply so we could still actually take it out if we wanted to cook outside. But it's just two burner propane stove, which I always tell people think about it. When you're cooking at home most of the time, you're probably just gonna use two burners unless you're making like an extravagant meal. But um, it really hasn't been like a big adjustment, if you know what I mean. If you want to see more about the van, since I I'm only showing you like really half of it, but you can always um, check out the link that I'll put in the bio, our details down there. And you can go see the tour video um, or just comment if you have any questions. All right, onions are cooking down a bit, looking good. So the next ingredient, and I mean, seriously, this is so easy, is bell pepper. Choose whatever color bell peppers your heart desires. I have those little ones that you just eat because they're so sweet and delicious. And I cut up like, I think three or four of them. So red, orange, and I think a yellow one. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. There we go. I also want those bell peppers to cook down for me as well. Um, it depends, for my bell peppers, it really depends. I'm turn the fire up a bit. You know, some recipes, I wanna get a quick high heat on them so that they're soft on the inside, but a little crunchy still. But some of them, I just want them to melt down so it's like butter. I remember um, Ivy, my good friend, used to be the one who would film When It's Good Wednesday for me. 
And she would say, you know, I'm not really a bell pepper fan. And then I made her something, I think a spicy noodles, and I cooked the bell peppers to where they're just melt in your mouth. And she was like, damn. And Ivy loves food, so if I could make something that she really says, damn, I'm like, okay. Where to put my oil? There it is. So I'm gonna add a touch more oil in here, just so those bell peppers have a bit to cook. I'm just gonna touch these noodles and see how they're doing. Ooh, pour it right out of the pot. All right, those are cooking all right. Turn up that fire a bit. Stir everything up. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I have a handful of cherry tomatoes. I like cherry tomatoes because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ch chop them in half, which is gonna be like the perfect bite. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in that skillet because the thing with the cherry tomatoes, it's kind of like the bell peppers. I either want to put them in right before everything else is done just to get them warmed through and a little bit soft, or I wanna put them in pretty early and then I want them to kind of melt down almost like it adds a little bit of like moisture or soft to it. So it kind of depends on what you want. Everything is looking good. Some of the onions you can already see are getting to that soft point where they get so sweet and so delicious. All right. So at this point, since it's onion and bell pepper and they're all kind of pretty cooked down already, uh, you really could stop cooking them at any time. <laughs> but since I already have the pasta in there, we're just gonna kind of wait until both of them are done. Give the pasta another stir. I've also heard controversial things on whether you're supposed to stir the pasta or just let it cook. I'm a stir, I think I get it from my father. If I'm cooking and I walk away for a second, he'll be over here, you know, stirring. I'm like, I didn't know I had a sous chef. <laughs> oh, it's great, it's always good. But we like to stir, give our food some love, unless it's something that really just needs to sit there. All right, the noodles are boiling pretty well. So I'm gonna throw that away. All right. So about the pesto, I really, I'm not like some brand lover of a specific pesto. I've never met a pesto I didn't like. But pesto is really just a whole bunch of basil leaves. So it's so like floral and delicious. Some olive oil, Parmesan cheese, but you can definitely find vegan options that are amazing. Pine nuts or walnuts or whatever nuts that you have, some salt. I think that's it. Oh, they use cashews, delicious. Garlic, also very important. Uh, but the oil kind of separates sometimes, so I'll kind of show you all that dry, y'all can see it, it's a little dark. I'll give it kind of a stir, maybe a little taste. Oh, and pesto is one of those things that I swear is good on anything. Something I love to do if I'm feeling kind of like fancy at breakfast is I'll get some really good like grainy hearty toast spread a thick layer of avocado on there maybe a sprinkle of hemp hearts or hemp seeds and then a nice dollop and smear of pesto y'all are never gonna go back after y'all taste that all right i'm gonna kind of see get a feel for how the noodles are doing they're coming along not quite I'm gonna go and turn the veggies off so they don't get too, too soft. All right, look at that. Delicious. I don't know what that hand was, but hello, yes. <laughs> All right, so since the cast iron does get so hot so well, those are still gonna sizzle for a little bit. I love frying my eggs in my cast iron skillet because once you flip them, you turn it off and it's a perfect over medium egg. Try it out. Um, something else I love about the cast iron is it's a cast iron pan. So a great way to get more iron in your life is to cook in the cast iron, specifically garlic, onion, and other vegetables in that family because they really react well with that iron and help you to absorb it better. Don't rely on that as your primary source of iron, but if you're iron deficient or just need a little bumper, that's a good tip to use. All right. Plus, I mean, I swear, everything tastes better out of a cast iron. But I really wanna show you another shot of this because you can start to see 
If you look in there, you see those caramelized onions nice and shiny. And then the tomatoes are creating some of that moisture I was talking about. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, anyways. So something that I'm gonna put in mine and not Dean's because he just doesn't really like them that much is some hemp seeds. I'll get out the bag to show y'all. I do have a brand I love. It's Minitoba Harvest. I had to read it because I'm not sure I would say it right. But right here. Um, so I usually get the shelled hemp seeds and I keep them in the fridge because they do have a lot of good healthy fats for us and we don't want them to oxidize or go bad or anything. So I keep them in the fridge. This is another thing I'll sprinkle on top of avocado toast or anything because it is high in those really healthy fats. And it also has protein and a heck of a lot of micronutrients like manganese specifically. So I, I figure, you know, why not include them? Now, usually you do need some sort of protein in this meal. I'm being really, really lazy and I'm just relying on some hemp seeds. It's a couple tablespoons or tablespoon and a half or something like that, which will give me around six kind of grams of protein. Not terrible, not that great, but I'll deal with it. Salmon with pesto pasta, in my opinion, is one of the best things in the entire world. In fact, the last time I ate this exact bag of pasta, I had salmon with it. So good. Salmon and pesto is like perfection. Let's try this noodle again. Almost to al dente. Now these are whole wheat noodles. They would take a heck of a lot longer. But Dean has really gotten me on this train of, or trend of just eating regular noodles because they're so much softer. I mean, I enjoy the nuttiness and the bite and the fiber from whole wheat noodles, but I do enjoy some regular noodles every now and then. And that's one of those things, like I used to tell clients even, pick your thing. If I'm gonna say like, oh, whole wheat bread is better because fiber, etc., but you hate whole wheat bread, that's not a life to live. Now I think it is worth always trying things and seeing if you enjoy it. But if you really just hate it, don't do it. Don't waste your life, your time like that. Pick what you like um, and then just kind of work with your taste preferences or your partner's preferences and see what you can do to include your fruits, your veggies, your fiber, everything like that. I think these noodles ought to be done, y'all. Let's check it. So close. So what I'm gonna do, take a nice heap of pesto and the veggies. I'm a heavy pesto user, y'all, because I freaking love pesto. But I'm going to stir it in the veggies. That way it gets them nice and saucy. And then once the noodles are ready, I'm going to stir the pesto in them as well. But that way you don't have to, like, I feel like it's going to be a pain for me to try to mix the noodles and the veggies in together, but we'll see. Ooh, and y'all know I got to do a taste tester. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to try a bell pepper with a little bit of onion. Help myself scoop it. All right. Cheers. It's so good. And those bell peppers are just like I was telling you about earlier. They're like soft enough to where they're not super crunchy, but they have a little bite to them. So they don't just disintegrate in your mouth. And tomatoes are cooked down nice and saucy. This is going to be a hit. All right, cutting the noodles off. I have my big strainer that we didn't plan this. We had this before we did the sink, but it fits in perfectly in the sink. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drain these guys. Woo, one little runaway. Now I'll just put them right back in the skillet using my pesto spoon. So you're gonna, woo, pesto anyways. They're sizzling. I turn that fire off and so this will just help to keep, I'm just going to use this whole jar. It'll help to keep the, or get the pesto warm for us since the noodles are hot and we want the whole meal to be hot. All right. But do y'all see how simple this is? And the thing is too, you could just do marinara if that's what you have or even canned like diced tomatoes with a tomato sauce. And then put your Italian seasonings in there and we have such a simple meal and pretty affordable as well. Wow, that came together super fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pour the pasta in the veggies. Mm. Telling you on pesto is a way to my heart. All right, stir it around. 
I wish I could just put the hemp seeds right in here because they would just be so beautiful. But what I'm gonna do is sprinkle them on top. Oh man, I gotta show you all what this is looking like. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. If you had an oven and you wanted to take it like from here to here, you could get some Parmesan cheese, sprinkle it on top, maybe bake it or broil it for like a second. Get it ooey and gooey. Mm. All right, so this is my favorite plate. It takes really good food photos, at least in my mind. So let's go ahead and plate this up. And then I'm gonna take some hemp seeds which I like the hemp seeds too, because it adds a little crunch to it, which you may not like, right? Dean doesn't really like that. All right. Let me show y'all. So there's my plate right there. Let's take a bite with the noodle and the bell pepper. Mm. The noodle is cooked perfectly. Al dente. Giada, you're teaching me my spaghetti. <laughs> so good y'all. So easy. Again, just pesto pasta, which is just pesto with pasta, really with whatever vegetables that your heart desires. Broccoli would also go super well in this. But thank you for joining me for when it's good Colorado edition. And again, if you want to see more about the van, any questions about the van, happy to answer them. And I'll also put in the link to this video to my uh, van tour. But don't forget y'all when it's good, it's just good. But thanks for tuning in when it's good and I'll see y'all next time.